Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be doing a good old makeup haul. It's been a while since I've done that, but I'm so excited to just sit down and talk makeup products. Most of the items are from Sephora and Ulta, and they're just items that I've been wanting. Anyways, let's get into it. If you guys are new here, my name is Morgan. I fancy myself to be a product knowledge enthusiast. I love knowing anything and everything about what is currently on the makeup market and sharing it with you guys. Yeah, so I've been buying makeup like crazy. A lot of new releases have started to come out for the holiday season. I know a lot of people are complaining it's so early. It is super early, but it's been that way the last couple of years. I remember last year thinking the exact same thing. Holiday makeup coming out is my favorite time of year as far as makeup goes. So I always put aside a little extra money for this time of year. So I've been buying left and right spending crazy amounts of money. You'll see I have a lot of reviews already up so I don't need to feature those products in this video. But I actually for the first time in a while I made a couple orders for me. A lot of times I order items for you guys. So, you know, I get expedited shipping. Uh, I get the review up the day that I get it kind of situation. Like the intention of buying it is for you guys. But this makeup was fun and it was for me and I wasn't worried about getting it as early as possible. It's just because I wanted them. So it felt good. I haven't done that in a while. You can see all of the other makeup that I bought recently. If you just look at my YouTube page and my videos, I have a lot of reviews on the newest things like right now today what i'm wearing i just finished reviewing the huda beauty haze obsessions palette so that video is already up so yeah i do have a lot of other new makeup items that you're probably wondering but they're already up so these are just some other things so we're gonna start off with sephora it's a bit of a smaller order but these are items that i've been wanting for a while this was while they were having that sephora sale where it was like at 20 dollars off 100 so i did do a sponsorship with sephora for that sale but i purchased some things myself too so that I could take advantage of my code and I just got some things that I've been wanting or needing well I don't need anything but I actually have been needing a new eyelash curler I use Shuomaru but I wanted to try the Shiseido one I think the Shuomaru and Shiseido are kind of top of the line the most popular for years and I don't know how I feel about the Shiseido one I mean it's nice it curls my lashes I'm not a big eyelash curler to begin with because my lashes are so straight doesn't matter if I curl them or not it lasts a good two minutes before my eyelashes go back to flat but I did want a new one because I've had the same one for years I don't really love the shape of this I feel like my eyes are a little bit too short I don't know I mean it does the job so it's fine but yeah that was a boring purchase. I also picked up that new-ish at this point powder from Hourglass. I can't believe I bit the bullet and did it. I was gonna pass because Hourglass is like expensive, but I got the Lighting Infinity powder. So this is a hybrid between two different formulas. It's not telling me on the box and I can't remember at the top of my head, but I believe it's a hybrid between just their regular ambient powder and then their soft highlighting kind of soft focus powder. It looks like this and it's just a lot of money for what it is, but I couldn't help myself. I really wanted to try the formula. I haven't even tried it yet. Ooh, that was a little shinier than I thought. Okay, so I feel like I'd use this to blend out my highlighter into my blush. I was expecting that to be a bit more mattifying. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to play with this. With Hourglass, it does take practice, but I'm excited to try this new formula out because I do enjoy the Hourglass powders a lot, and that one did soften my skin a little bit, but yep. I did get this new formula, so I'm excited to try that out. I've been sleeping on Tower 28. They've been out for a few months now, and I know Britt loves them. Karen Harris really likes them, so I wanted to try for myself. So I got a little size of the SOS Daily Rescue Facial Spray. I think Samantha March is the one who sold me on this. She's the one that's been using this, and I don't really know how to use it truthfully. How or when, I'll have to look it up. I haven't used it yet, but it says use daily AM and PM on freshly cleansed skin. I heard it helps with acne, which is a struggle of mine. My acne's been very good lately because of my skincare routine, so I want to add this so that's even better because I still do get little breakouts from the makeup that I wear, but I guess this is more skincare, not for makeup. Helps soothe irritation and defends against daily damage from skin's everyday stressors. Okay, good. I need to actually get on that. And then this set I've been wanting for a really long time, and Hourglass is actually in the more affordable of Sephora's kind of 
products. Yeah, I mean, the things weren't that expensive. So this is the Tower 28, obviously. It's called the Magic Hour and Chill Set. So I really wanted to buy this cream blush and then it actually was a better deal to get it in this set. So in here you get the Magic Hour blush. It's hard to open though. Just, I feel like my nails are gonna fall off. <laughs> Oh, why? This is gonna pull my nails off my nail bed. The color though is really gorgeous. And this is like the perfect everyday peachy and nudie kind of color. Haven't tried it on my face yet, but I'm really excited to. I've only swatched it. Where is this made out of curiosity? Made in the USA. And I love the all acrylic packaging. So many people hate that, but I always say it. I love it. And then you also get a little mini shine on lip gloss. And I think Karen really loves their lip glosses. It's a clear gloss, but I'm excited to give it a try and they came out with these like milky delicious looking lip glosses that I really want to try I'm gonna hold off until like a Sephora VIB sale, but I want to try those new glosses They look gorgeous. So I'm really excited about this I feel like both of these little minis are great introductions to the brand of their mo more popular products So very excited about that. I made a pretty large Ulta order. A lot of stuff for holiday have come out and I've been wanting to buy them. But I was like, mm, maybe I should save my money because these aren't brands that I buy everything from. But ultimately, you know, I placed this order just because I wanted them and it felt good. So I chose to order these off of Ulta as opposed to Sephora because Ulta has way better gift with purchases. They just do. So I'm gonna share with you the gift with purchases because they were significant, very, very good. So I did finally end up purchasing the Urban Decay Stone Vibes palette. And I know a lot of you guys are curious about my thoughts on all of these palettes. I haven't used them yet. I did swatch them before I filmed this so I could at least tell you what I think about that. Um, but it, gorgeous packaging. I cannot tell you the last time that I purchased an Urban Decay palette. I mean, I can. It was Urban Decay Naked Heat, which was two years ago. So it's been a hot minute since I purchased from Urban Decay because their palettes are so bleh to me. And this one is the one that's excited me the most so far. And even then, I don't, like, I love the packaging. It looks gorgeous, but it's like chunky and just, we've moved on from chunky. Like, this is so 2000. From what I can tell swatching, I think some of the shades are really pretty. I do think there's a little bit of inconsistency in the formula. I feel like some shades were really creamy, very pigmented, whereas others I felt like were kind of sheer and just kind of there. I'm gonna need to play with this some more. I don't, I don't know. I haven't used it yet, so I don't want to say too much. But make sure you guys keep an eye out for a palette rankings video. This one won't be for a few more weeks, but I will update you guys on these palettes as I use them. But the gift with purchase from Urban Decay, we got a little mini eyeshadow primer potion. This is a classic. I've used this for years. I never have to pay for them because I always just get these little samples and they are perfect. And then a good old 24 seven glide on eye pencil. These were my first eye pencils back in the day. I had every color when I was like, I wanna say 14 or 15. They have a very durable formula. So got a new black one. You can never have too many of those. Um, moving on. I couldn't help myself. I had to get the pumpkin spice palette from Too Faced. I rarely buy Too Faced releases nowadays. There was a time where I was obsessed with Too Faced a few years ago, and then they just came out too much and it was like not good quality, but I feel like their annual like big holiday palette in the tin is always really nice. And I really, really like this color story. I don't think it's a fall color story by any means. It's a little bit more springy, especially if you do this. This is a spring palette, but I really like the colors, especially you guys know this whole bottom row. Uh, that's that's all me. You have some greens, some pinks. Like I said, it's not very fall at all, but I'm really excited for it, honestly. I tried to resist. I really did, but I was having FOMO. I really felt like I needed this palette, so I got it. it smells okay. It's not really too strong, but I think the colors are so pretty. And then this one was a really nice gift with purchase. So you get a little set. Well, I got a little set of these award-winning minis. So you have their Hangover Primer, which is one of my favorites, a little mini Better Than Sex, which an okay mascara. And then you get a little mini Chocolate Bronze which I really love this bronzer. So I'm excited about this. 
telling you, the gift of purchases were banging. And then the last big palette that I got from Ulta, I can't believe I bought this. I just kind of added it on my cart last minute. I was like, oh, I'm already spending this much money. What's one more palette? Like I said in my intro, I just like knowing about things that are out on the market. So I did get the new NARS palette. This is the Extreme Effects palette. Not a lot of people talked about this because NARS has kind of gotten a little bit boring as years have gone on. They started releasing like a billion palettes that look all the same um this is no exception this <laughs> palette is not unique at all you have all of these colors especially if you have any other nars palette you have all of these colors but i really like it like this is a great everyday palette for me i feel very comfortable with these colors and you guys as boring as it is these felt great by swatch of all of the palettes in this video this one i am the most excited for quality wise this one felt like the best quality of course i have haven't put it on my eyes yet, Whew, but NARS puts out some good products, okay? You can't disagree with that. They have a good shadow formula, no matter how boring the colors may seem. This is made in Italy, so that's why, like, I have had a bad shadow formula made in Italy. It was, like, a Nordstrom collaboration with Karl Lagerfeld. That was the worst formula ever made in Italy, but 99.9% of the time, this is great. And then the Too Faced palette is, says bulk made in USA. Interesting. Where's the Urban Decay thing? I'm a nerd. I like knowing this stuff. Too many words. This is like the longest ingredient list I've ever read. Oh, this palette's made in Korea. Ooh, okay. Oh, and the gift with purchase. NARS takes the cake. They had the best gift with purchase. I actually was almost gonna buy this for $10. The NARS Climax Extreme Volume Mascara. I was gonna get a little mini of this to try, but they already had it. So I got to save myself, save myself $10. So you got a Climax Extreme sample. We have just the regular mas Climax Mascara sample. Little sample of their smudge proof eyeshadow base. And then a high pigment long wear eyeliner, which I believe is just their pencil liner. Yeah, get a little black mini pencil liner. Ooh, fabulous. Okay, the last thing I got from Ulta, uh, I got one of the Raw Beauty Christie and Pure Lashes. I got the style, can't be bothered, but this was not the style that I ordered. There's another one that looks more natural and pretty. Like this one looks like I won't like it, honestly. And you know what, Brittany Raquel, I put this on my Instagram that I purchased this and she was like, be careful. Like they've been sending me the wrong lash cause she tried to also order the other lash. And she was right. They just send you like the lash that you didn't order. I should contact them, but I'm gonna forget. But yeah, I don't even like these. So I got that. And that's all I got from Ulta. I do have a few other things that I wanna share with you that I got. And then also a couple of things in PR that I got that I just wanna talk about. Uh, but let's talk about what I bought from Alabar. They came out with a new collection called the Spanglish Collection. And I don't know, I love this name because my husband's first language is Spanish. And I haven't started learning Spanish yet, but I know when I do, I'm, a, I'm gonna be speaking Spanglish. They came out with the Spanglish Collection and they came out with these palettes and I just think it looks so gorgeous. Of course, it's like purple based, purpley pinky based. So I had to, had to have it, but it looks stunning. I haven't used it on the eye yet, but all of the dimension you're getting in here the color story i'm really really excited for this and then i also just bought the whole set from the collection i don't know i think it was like free shipping or something if i did anyways so i got these three brushes which look really really nice i'm very interested in this one in particular you guys see that how awesome would this be for, for nose contour this is a very inter it's like a mini tiny little fan i need to play with that one okay so as far as what i purchased that is all that I hauled. But I do want to talk about some other things with you guys. So Good Molecules, they came out with a new rose water daily cleansing gel. So everything from here on was very kindly gifted to me. I have some other stuff that I could show you, but like... <sighs> This is the stuff that I wanted to talk about. <laughs> so Good Molecules, if you don't know, this is actually Beautylish's skincare brand. I like that they just straight up didn't call it like Beautylish. I don't know because I think it's in our head because when you think of Sephora, like Sephora collection, I automatically assume their stuff isn't 
as good. Uh, but yeah, that's how they're able to like make it more affordable. There is no middleman. They came out with the Rosewater Daily Cleansing Gel, and I love Good Molecules because I feel like they come out with very affordable skincare that's actually quality. Like this stuff is made in Korea. The best skincare, in my opinion, is always made in Korea. I'm currently at a pretty strict routine right now because my skin's been good, but I'm running out of my cleanser. So this is going to be the next one that I try out. But definitely, if you are looking for skincare that's actually affordable, look into Good Molecules. That's why I wanted to share that with you guys because I haven't talked about Good Molecules because, like I said, my skincare routine's been pretty strict. They do have some good stuff. Um, I also got a PR package from Saturday Skin. And the reason I wanted to just talk about this with you guys is I'm curious, do you guys like this brand? I've seen it on Sephora. I've never tried it before. I've been very curious because it's so cute. Just like, look at this. The stuff looks adorable. So if you guys like it, can you let me know what's awesome about it or what's not so awesome about it? Because I'm trying to see what I want to incorporate into my routine. I have to be picky. So I got a couple of things in the box. We have the brightening mask. And then this is the cotton cloud probiotic power mask. These look really nice. Uh, but oh, everything looks so cute. So we have the vitamin C sleep mask. I really like sleeping masks. I do feel like they actually work and I like how they just dry into the skin. This is the avocado date seed wide awake brightening eye cream. I've been searching for a new eye cream. I stopped using eye creams for a while. I told you guys this in another video, but I've been getting Milia because I feel like it's just too much product. So I took a break from eye creams for that to go away. And a lot of you guys recommended, I know the avocado, I believe it's from pharmacy. No, why is it slipping my mind? I can't remember what it's called, but it's the avocado under eye mask. Uh, this looks super cute. Guys, like look at this packaging. This stuff better be good because the packaging is adorable. We have the Rub-A-Dub Refining Peel Gel. Where are these made? Korea, yes, yes, yes. Super cute. And then the last thing, I think this is one of their best sellers. This is the Pore Clarifying Toner. I'm a believer in toners now. I didn't use toner for a long time because I thought they were dumb. Joke's on me because I'm the dumb one. But I think I'm a believer now. Anyways. <gasps> Ooh, uh, uh, I was gonna give some of these away, but no, they're too cute. I need to use these. So yeah, seriously, if you have any insight on Saturday skin, let me know what's up with it. For selfish reasons, I showed you this package because I wanted you to tell me if I needed to use it or not. Okay, last thing. This one is for my makeup artist friends. So I got a PR package from Perfect Palettes, which I'm really, really thankful for. I was actually gonna make my own order anyways. They're small Canadian Based brand but I'm always looking for things to up my kit make my kit better because I feel like it's very amateur and they were kind enough to send me one of their small pro kits and oh my gosh these little palettes are awesome these are the perfect mixture of a Z palette and a makeup forever palette so what I love about the makeup forever palettes is that they're metal uh, like a tin like this but they also have a clear thingy like a window so that you can actually see the products like a Z palette. So it's a perfect mix. It's a magnetic palette. Um, I need to depot my shadows to put them in here. And if you get like the actual kit that they sent me, you know, you have things that you can stick to the back of your shadows or whatever. And then what I'm excited about, get these little tins that I'm gonna mount lipsticks into just to really make my kit nice and compact. I have a whole little zip up bag that I have with my lip products and I just need to sit down and actually put these in here. I took some time off doing makeup this year, like the whole year. Just because of COVID, I do live with my parents, uh, so I just wanted to be extra careful. So I'm looking into getting back into that next year, and I'm so excited to start off my new season with this stuff. And also, they come with adorable little labels. Look, they're little hearts. So makeup artist friends, highly recommend looking into this brand. Even if you're not a makeup artist, like you can put your single shadows in here from all the indie brands that you guys like. Heck yes, I am. I'm so excited. So I did want to share that brand with you because I'm really excited about it. Like this is a brand that I found on my own and I followed them and I think they just happened to see my name and was like, hey, you look like you need this. And I was like, 
Yes, I do. Okay, anyways, guys, so that's all I have for today's haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you aren't subscribed to my channel already, I would absolutely love it if you would consider taking the time to do so. Oh, and make sure you are subscribed to my channel because slowly, as I get these holiday videos out throughout them, I will be updating you guys on these palettes, especially because the palettes will be in ranking videos as I try them out. So that is all I have for now. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Thank you.